is Rihanna launching her own marijuana line that she will call Mariana? And is Kris Jenner responsible for Kylie and Tyga's breakup after he allegedly slept with the same girl as Charlie Sheen? <gasps> Plus, are Megan Trainer and Charlie Puth more than just friends? All these rumors and more coming up on today's episode of Rumor Patrol. <laughs> What's up, you guys? Happy Saturday, and welcome back to Rumor Patrol. Happy Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, Rylan. I brought some little goodies Ooh, to celebrate Friendsgiving. Favorite. And I also brought you something. Shut up. I brought you a delicious Marie Calendar's pie. Whoop, whoop, whoop. What flavor, um, though? Uh, Vivian, <laughs> what happened I'm to sorry. this pie? So I was driving, and somebody... <laughs> It just sort of tilted. So, uh, it's Content fine. Content shifted, but um, since we have so many juicy rumors mm. today, I decided to eat pie while we give the rumors. Why so let's, not? let's kick things <laughs> off with our very first one. Ooh, and it's about Rihanna, right? That's right. So the question is, is Rihanna launching her own marijuana line? Which Shut sounds up. kind of ridiculous. Okay, let me tell you. So Rihanna has been Instagramming extensively, uh, documenting her love for weed. Of and course. allegedly, uh, according to Celeb Stoner, Celeb Stoner was What kind of source is this? I've never well, heard of the outlet. Before we talk about the outlet i want to know do you have to be a stoner to get a job there uh yeah it's just like we have to be <laughs> pop culture enthusiasts to work here okay okay that makes sense so they reported that rihanna will be launching her own line and she will call it mariana and according to this source uh she made the announcement at high times cannabis cup in jamaica but there's no confirmation that this is actually real supposedly there's going to be three different strains of marijuana what are they going to be called plants um they will be called caribbean Cush, Haitian Haze, and Jamaican High Grade. So okay, Viv, this doesn't surprise me because <laughs> she obviously loves pot and other stars like Snoop Dogg has also created his own line called exactly. Leaks by Snoop Dogg. So, so I mean, all these celebrities are jumping on the fragrances and the albums and the movies and the behind the scenes, so why not weed? However, guys, I mean, I'm not sad about this because I don't smoke, but for all of you that were hopeful that there would be Mariana. <laughs> you could smoke with Rihanna's pot. <laughs> exactly. So unfortunately, that is completely false. Oh. And her camp has already spoken out publicly and said, you know what, this is bogus. It's Although not. now that it's in conversation, Rihanna might get wind of this and be like, hey, that's a good idea. Maybe I should do that. I mean... I don't support it, but it is a good idea. It's fitting for Rihanna. <laughs> However, Rylan, what she will launch is her anti-album, which we don't really know the release date yet, Ooh. but I know there's like a little film coming along with it, so click the link below for all the deets on that. Well, moving right along, we have the juicy rumor that Kris Jenner <laughs> is responsible for the Kylie Tyga breakup. What do you think Why? about this, I Viv? mean, it's her mom, so obviously you know how parents are. Like, <laughs> you need to break up with that boy because X reason. But this reason is really shocking. Oh, it is crazy. So allegedly, Kris Jenner had found out that Tyga had slept with Mia Isabella, who is the same girl that also slept with Charlie Sheen. And then it came to our attention that Charlie Sheen is HIV positive. So cut okay, to- Okay, that is really scary. It is very scary. That and is if I was Kris Jenner, I would do absolutely Absolutely the same thing. Now let's kind of roll back a couple of months ago when this rumor came out that Tyga was sleeping with this transgender woman. Yeah, so she is transgender. Right, and I mean he sort of denied all of the rumors. There were so many rumors that all the Kardashians were really angry at him. Um, he kept denying it and of course Kylie and Tyga never really broke up. For this, but there were just a also text threads of Tyga talking to this girl. Correct. And there were photos of his man par in the text message with Mio. But did we ever see those? We didn't. So, no. I mean, it was technically just a rumor, but it is really scary. Mm -hmm. And that is a valid reason as a mother, I think, to kind of step in and say, hey, you know what? You need to break up with him and he needs to make sure he is completely I think healthy. Even as Kylie, like my heart starts know, beating fast because that's a serious situation. You right. start hearing that. And then it also makes sense because Chris is so involved with like E who broke the story. So maybe she called and was like, cause she likes to keep them in the headlines. Right. So maybe it all just came to fruition that way. <laughs> but they they proved this weekend that they definitely didn't break up like we all thought. I mean, we saw that Snapchat and you were pointing out that they went to the after party at the AMA. Well, it so happened. Like, okay, so the whole rumor that they broke up started on Thursday night when she didn't go to Tyga's birthday right. party, which she was flying back from Australia. So like, you guys need to relax. <laughs> and then Friday, they everyone started reporting that they had broken up. And just on Saturday, that Snapchat came out. Exactly. So I guess they never really broke up. It may have been a publicity mm. stunt. 
Who knows? But for now, the rumor that Kris Jenner was responsible for the breakup, I mean, we really don't know. No. How's the pie, Riley? <laughs> oh God. Oh God. Okay, we need to move on to the next rumor, which everyone has been talking about and asking questions, and that is Megan Trainer and Charlie Puth, are they dating? Ooh. I mean, we were all shocked during that AMA performance where they not only kissed, but they actually like, like made out. out. Our mouths were dropped. We were screaming here at Clever. <laughs> exactly. We were freaking out, and I think the whole Twitterverse is freaking out over this. And the question is, are they dating? Are they more than just friends? Because honestly, guys, Guys, I mean, Rylan is a good friend of mine, and I just don't see myself making out with Rylan. <laughs> no, like, we're not just gonna be like making out no. as friends. And the thing is, he said, quote, we're still friends and it's all part of my whole vision. When I made Marvin Gaye for people to hear the record and spontaneously make out with each other. So take a look. Okay, little. wait. So if we listen to the record, then we're gonna spontaneously make out? Yeah. I am not making out with you, Rylan. I mean, the song's great, but I just don't see two friends doing that. Okay, guys, let me point out something that's been going around Twitter. So a lot of people have asked if Charlie Puth is gay. So my dilemma here, I understand the song, you know, is part of a performance, kind of like the whole Madonna, Britney Spears, mm -hmm. Christina Aguilera thing. It's just a kiss, it means nothing. But I feel like if Charlie is really gay, is he doing these kind of things to like cover it up? Because I feel like we live in the times where we're supposed to accept who we are. So if he really is gay, then it's important for him to come out and be like, you know what, I'm gay. And yes, I did kiss Megan Trainer, but it's all good. Yeah, it's like branding in a negative way almost. But we also don't know, don't know that he's gay, so we can't throw that exactly. completely <laughs> on him. But it's they just a were theory. promoting the kiss a lot. Like there's pictures of him like really grasping her butt. And <laughs> I was, although it was supposed to be like this big theatrical performance, it's like, mm, I, I don't, don't know. I don't like. I, if we were like hosting this show and it prompted us to kiss, we're not gonna kiss just because we're on a show. Like that doesn't make sense it to doesn't, us. It doesn't, it's not part of a performance, but I don't know. I mean, mm -hmm. but for now, the question, are they actually more than just friends? I think definitely not. So this rumor is completely false. false. All right, for our last rumor of the day, we have is Gigi Hadid being blackmailed by hackers on her iCloud? Oh, Jesus. And this mm. report comes out just days after she's allegedly dating Zayn Malik. Which so is, is no. he in the photos? <laughs> What's going on? So I according mean, to TMZ, the newly minted Victoria's Secret Angel will not give the group the demands that they have already alerted for the issue. Okay. So like they're demanding a certain amount of money. We don't know uh, how much, but it's probably a ton saying that we're going to leak these photos if you don't give us the money. And she's okay. like, no, I'm How not gonna do that. How many times has this happened? Didn't it happen, supposedly there's nude pictures of Taylor Swift? Oh my gosh. I mean, there's been so many stars that this supposedly happens where they hack into their iCloud and find these photos. First of all, do these photos even exist? Second of all, Gigi's a very sexy girl. I mean, we've seen her, has she modeled completely nude? I think she has, at the top of my head, I can't remember. So I feel like if there are raunchy photos, like they wouldn't be that big of a deal mm -hmm. as opposed to Unless, like someone that's conservative like Taylor. I don't know. It just sucks thoughts. because like this has happened to Jennifer Lawrence. So you would hate oh, to yeah. see it happen again to someone like Gigi if there are things. But right now she's like, no, I'm not going to meet your demands because maybe she doesn't have anything to hide. But exactly. we don't know. There's like seriously no development <laughs> just yet because none of the photos have been leaked. Right. But mm, We'll right, have to wait. So yeah, right for now, now, the rumor that Gigi's being blackmailed unfortunately is completely true. true. All right, guys, that wraps it up for the rumors of today's Rumor Patrol episode. Ooh, but we have some questions for you guys. Like, do you think Kylie and Tyga are actually broken up? And what really happened? Do you guys think Kris Jenner is responsible for this one day breakup? And do you think <laughs> it had to do with Mia? Let us know in the I comment section below. Tweet us at Vivian Fabiola V and at Rylan underscore Adams. We hope you enjoy your weekend off. Rylan, I hope you enjoy this pie. And so good. Happy Friendsgiving to you guys. Oh. We'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys. But wait, don't go to see if Seth Rogen is going around saying he has a bigger man part than Justin Bieber. Click that video to the right. Or click to the left to see why Selena Gomez fears a Biebs hookup with Ariana Grande.